What is up everybody? Random Random Man here, aka RRM, bringing you another rapid movie review, aka RMR, and it is for Priscilla. Based on the 1985 memoir Elvis and Me by Priscilla Presley and Sandra Harmon, the plot of this biographical drama follows Presley and her relationship with Elvis Presley. Kaylee Spaney plays the titular figure here, and she won the Volpe Cup for Best Actress at this year's Venice International Film Festival where the movie premiered, and I can so see why. She instantly gave one of my favorite leading film performances of the year thus far, as she has a sensational sensitivity to how she portrays this character beginning at age 14 all the way through her late 20s, and there is a lot that is in focus with her perspective, and of course, her relationship with the king of rock and roll, Elvis Presley, here played by Jacob Elordi, and I thought he was outstanding too. Not only does he have the look and voice down to play this icon of music, but with his performance being a reflection of the perspective of Priscilla here, he is someone that is easily identifiable to us to where we get glimpses of why he is someone that Priscilla would want to fawn over, even with his faults and how the relationship continues. There is a third star of the show here, and that is writer-producer-director Sofia Coppola. What she has done can be seen at face value as being the antithesis of last year's Elvis by Boz Lerman with how bright and bombastic this film is by comparison. But I don't think that is what she was going for. What she has done here in terms of her vision is give us the window, mainly from the perspective of Priscilla, of course, to see how she has been brought up in longing to find some sort of connection even at such a young age. And not only does that bring out the proficiently palpable chemistry between Spaney and Alordi, but it also goes as a further reflection of Spaney's performance in the movie feeling delicate and dreamy to how we feel and see the perspective here in that a lot of times when she is not with Elvis, she is either in school or alone in Graceland. And a lot of the isolation is just firmly felt. At times the movie does feel like it is not much more than what I've mentioned in the way it does flow, but with how the movie is put together on a technical scale, it offsets that a lot as this is such a pristinely put together picture. The way it is shot and how it looks like we are again further in a dream and the color palette throughout it with bursts of colors at times with some of the happier moments. Also the production values with this movie taking place mainly in the 1950s through the 1970s. The costuming, the set design. Music wise there is a lot of famous tracks from the decades this movie is covering and then the original score by Phoenix and Sons of Raphael further play up how ethereal the movie feels in how it does move with the atmosphere. The movie runs well at just under two hours in length and when it comes to the end of the film it does just that. It ends abruptly and on the one hand I thought it was fitting with the narrative but on the other hand, I'm not entirely sure how to feel in terms of the movie just having not that much in the way of closure, which is all I will say without spoilers. But the movie nevertheless paints a portrait of somebody that is not just trying to be a retelling or a biopic of the traditional sense. It is the perspective of a woman in a place and time that feels so otherworldly, as I have said, at least here in the U.S., the film has opened nationwide, so if it is playing in a theater near you, I definitely recommend it. With that, my final verdict for Priscilla is four out of five stars. Thank you all, as always, for watching. Be sure to like this video, comment on what you thought of, Priscilla, social media links in the description, subscribe to my channel for more, and I'll catch you on the next movie review.